So this video I want to show you how to make yourself a new Hexo battery. If you haven't got one of these, as you can see I have three of these batteries which are good batteries. I have shown in a previous video how you can make a good battery out of a dead battery by joining them together. And I didn't know this when I got this battery so I decided what or I thought about what can I do to get my hexo flying if I've no battery. So I opened it up one of these and this is what's inside that case you have this piece which is joined to do these two heavy wires and two light wires. I presume these are the balance charge wires because all I done inside here was taped them off. Obviously the two main wires I connected them to one of these XT60 female connectors and then I got this off eBay, that's all I can say. It's an XT connector that will take two batteries, bringing 12 volts in and 12 volts in. That doesn't increase to 24 volts because of the way it's connected. It just means that you have 12 volts lasting a longer time. So all you have is a 12 volt current coming out of here. Or 11 point one volts is what's on the batteries. So I wanted to see if by doing this could I fit all of this into this to make it fly again. So I'm going to show you when you put this all together put this in here connect it up correctly be good and then we'll turn this around And you might or may not be able to see where the normal battery just slots in. So what we want to do is get this piece to connect in the same way. And once you have this set up, you never have to take that out again. Because you can just charge your batteries. And the good thing about this is, you can have lots of spare batteries. So, but the only thing is you need to change two full batteries all the time. Otherwise you're not going to get much power. These hexos seem to use a lot of power. So what you do is you connect one in and then the other one in. And then we have to put this inside here. So the two batteries sitting like that. Now we have to try and gather all this stuff up. Now I wasn't sure whether all this would fit under the cover and it takes a little kind of fiddling around. Well, I did get it in earlier. It's just getting those wires in as best you can without breaking anything. And we get it in. Let's just pop it in there now. Just put that to lock in where it should. Yeah, well, obviously one of the wires just doesn't want to play ball. Can we get that in again? Bundle these wires up. It's just getting them in the correct position. It might be those little cape connectors just causing it to get stuck in some way. So we have our two batteries fit in and now we're just going to switch it on. Now we're indoors so it's not going to fly anywhere. And there you have it. She wants to go. Now we can switch that off and we can open this up. Now I'm sure we could make more space, cut a little hole in the side and let the wires hang out a bit. But the other thing is, 
that perhaps we could get another connector another one of these connectors another one of these connectors going into this and into this and then we can have four batteries so we could put two batteries on the outside two batteries on the inside and that will give us a longer flight time something no one has ever had on a hexo so it's something I'm going to have to try out I have to get one more of these cables and I'm going to test this out because these batteries are quite expensive if you could get one you cannot order them from hexo itself because they just have a waiting a waiting list and nobody seems to get them so I have these but I also have an option of these and if I add even more I'm sure we've seen DJI Phantoms with extra batteries on I'm sure this hexo is well able to carry another two more batteries and that will double at the best double the flight time that we're getting with one of these and I'm also going to do a video on connecting one of these to a manual controller so watch out for the videos I'm putting up on this Hexo because I find these really interesting drones, quadcopters, hexacopters, whatever you want to call it I just really like these and I want to see them given life again I'm sure many people have them lying around because the battery's gone dead and I've shown in a previous video that even if your battery gone down, gone dead all you might need to do is connect one of these batteries in for about an hour till you bring the, the power up in it and then try your charger on it but if you're going to do that as I show in my one of my videos make sure and leave it outside just in case something does go wrong I haven't done it with one of these batteries but I have done it with one of these and as they're both the same voltage they're just a different amp rate because it's a much bigger battery I can't see why not so there you have it now you can get your hexo flying again with two of these batteries and a little adapter all I've done here is just show you again these two little wires when you, when you go inside this yellow case you're going to have four wires the two main ones and these ones which I presume are the balanced charge wires and as you're not going to need these on here because you're charging these elsewhere so you just tape them off inside so they don't connect or cause some kind of a mishap tape them off inside and connect these to the red and the black to your XT60 female plug get it soldered in and make sure you connect them the right way around I'm sure this ain't going to work very well if you if you connect them the wrong way around it has a plus and a minus on each side of this so you can't go wrong and hopefully you'll get your machine back up in the air and maybe you'll even buy a few more of these cables like I suggested and get your machine up there for a longer time